Hey everyone, Carolina Venom here. Today I'm going back a few years and looking at the HTC Evo 4G from Sprint. This phone came out in 2010 and this phone was the deal whenever it first came out. This was, uh, I believe, a flagship device. Uh, it was just flat out awesome. I mean, it had everything that you wanted in a phone and it was just an awesome phone in general but right now I want to um, give you the rundown of the phone some of the specs that it had uh, what, I th what I think about it and have thought about it and run a few tests and stuff like that so uh, we'll go ahead and get started this phone started out with Android 2.1 but now it is running Android 2.3.5 that was the last update that it got. It does have a 4.3 inch display with 480 by 800 resolution at 217 PPI. It does have scratch resistant glass. It does have a 8 megapixel camera on the rear with dual LED flash. And it can record up to 720 HD and does have a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front. This phone ran a 1 GHz single core Snapdragon S1 processor with 512 MB of RAM with 1 GB of ROM. Uh, has very little storage and it will support up to a 32 GB SD card. Had a 1500 mAh battery with around 6 hours of talk time. This was or this is a 4G device. Uh, 4G WiMAX device and from what I've been hearing uh, Sprint will be getting rid of their WiMAX 4G uh, sometime next year so you know if you got a WiMAX phone you're still using then after which WiMAX to me never I don't think it really ever took off uh, in my area they're just like a couple of miles stretch where you have LT or how you have you have WiMAX and um, it was very bad at that so uh, it'll be just a 3G device now uh, I will be explaining some things uh, here in a few minutes about this phone and what you can do with this phone but right now I'm gonna take you around the phone up here was your ear speaker pretty big uh, of course your 1.3 megapixel camera you had your home menu back and search button on the bottom here you had your micro USB charging port and this port here I just can't remember what this port done on this side here you had nothing on top you had your power button and your headset jack your volume rocker on this side and on the back of course your speaker your kickstand down here, uh, your your uh, camera, and your dual LED lights, which were pretty daggone bright. I love this phone when I used it. Uh, it still works. Um, this has been one tough phone. I have dropped it on concrete three or four times. Um, I mean, it's got the scars to prove it on the bottom, and it's all messed up. The back cover is cracked, as you see here. It will not seal all the way up because it's been dropped so many times on concrete and asphalt. Uh, the only thing I ever had done to this phone was the ear speaker went out and Sprint fixed it free of charge. Uh, but other than that, this phone has been perfect. The screen is cracked up here. Uh, as you can see right through there but it really don't affect the phone any and the screen is all scratched up and everything but this phone still does work and but after using it today and after pulling it out of storage uh, this phone is so slow uh, compared to these newer phones I mean the lag is just so present I mean you can look at it and tell that the lag is just really bad and it's not smooth at all uh, I actually run an N22 benchmark on it today and it took forever to get done uh, but you know this was a really nice phone when it first came out I mean you know it had the kickstand on the back you had Sprint TV and 
He was able to listen to music with the kickstand out and everything. I mean, I like the kickstand on this phone. I thought it was awesome. Being able to set your phone up to watch TV and stuff like that. But this phone, compared to today's standards, is very weak and it's very laggy and really just has no speed to it at all compared to these newer phones. Um, but it's still pretty cool. I still like the phone. And actually, right now, if you are a customer with Boost Mobile, uh, you can uh, you can go onto the onto their website somewhere, and they have a select phones that uh, you can actually move from Sprint to Boost Mobile, uh, which has a list of compatible phones. This phone is one of them, uh, and also the Galaxy S3 is one of them. And there's several more. I'm just not really familiar with all of the devices that are compatible. But when I call Boost Mobile and ask them how you do it, you have to go into a Boost Mobile store and they will and tell them that you want to use your S3 or whatever you got that's compatible um, on your Boost Mobile account. They'll go in there and they'll make some changes and it will be eligible to use on Boost Mobile. So I'm not sure if there's any, I'm not sure if there's any cost in that, if there's any charge or whatever, but it, I think it's pretty awesome to be able to use certain sprint devices on Boost Mobile. But back to the phone, uh, I did run the quadrant and I will show you the test it ran, which was very poor, very poor. I thought it was never going to get done today. This one came in at 5,082. And, you know, of course now it says this was a general level. Now, back in 2010, when this phone came out, it would have said, oh, high end, you know, and everything. And this would have been like a really good speed back in the day. But, of course, today, uh, this is very weak. And every in the details, everything was poor. CPU was poor. The RAM is poor. The 2D, 3D graphics is poor. And the numbers are just very, very low. And, I mean, you can just tell here by the way it's uh, scrolling that it's just got a lot of bad lag. And I'm also going to go ahead and run the Quadrant Benchmark test on it just for fun. Just to see what it says and everything. Uh, it will take a few minutes. One thing about this phone here is that it never really had the greatest battery life either uh, you know only 1500 milliamp hours and I mean you could go through the battery in no time especially if you use it for a lot of media and stuff like that but to me this was actually my favorite phone I had this phone and used this phone longer than any phone that I've ever used and uh, it's just been in storage for a long time and the battery was dead, I had to give it a full charge, and I've only ran one test on it, and the battery's done dropped like 15%, so battery's getting bad, I'm sure, and everything, but the Evo 4G, like I say, was the phone whenever it came out, I mean, I've seen everybody with the Evo 4G, and they were just awesome phones, and, you know, the camera was 8 megapixel, which is really nice back in 2010, being able to record in 720 was also nice, you know, and everything and the dual LED lights and the front facing camera. I mean, it was just one phone that really worked and worked well back whenever this phone came out. But of course, with these newer devices, even lower end newer devices that are kind of off brand, you know work better than the Evo 4G does now so I mean even though this was a flagship device back in the day today it's really nothing it's just slow laggy buggy and you can really tell that um, we have, they have came a long way in the cell phone uh, technology and what and all it can do there's some apps this phone cannot get anymore, um, but it's not surprising. But uh, You know, this was a nice phone, and I mean, I really can't say anything bad about this phone. Like I said, it was tortured. It was dropped on concrete. Um, it was 
sometimes uh, I mean it's been thrown several times it's been dropped it's been in water I think it's been in water and like I said the only problem with it was the ear speaker went out so in the benchmark test it came in down here at 951 and the CPU was 1978 and the 2D and 3D graphics were also terrible for a total of 951 so really bad speeds as well um, I guarantee you about any kind of gameplay on this thing would be very weak and you really don't have very much storage um, I only have uh, Facebook uh, the quadrant benchmark and this claim master downloaded and we'll go into the menu here and go down to the storage and it shows that I only have 274 megabytes of available space which of course you can I, I do believe you were able to move apps to the SD card but still you know only 274 megabytes of available space back then I thought man a lot of space but you know now <laughs> that's nothing so you know anyway I thought I would just kind of you know do a throwback video here of my of one of my favorite phones actually my favorite phone of all time was the HTC Evo 4G and to me I mean it's a very thick phone very heavy phone uh, but I thought it was the greatest invention in cell phones in my opinion when it came out so you know I used it for a long time and it's really well built and that's why I'm still a really big HTC fan today was because of this phone here so uh, anyway um, I hope you enjoyed this little throwback video a little bit um, got any questions about the Evo 4G still feel free to ask me uh, subscribe to my channel. I sure would appreciate it. Y'all have a good and talk to y'all later.